Wow, okay. Close. We're live. With eight viewers. Eight! Whoa! Um, yeah, time for a shave. Been a minute. All right. Um, first we wash the face. A couple of things have happened, guys. Cindy Williams died. Now, for those of you unaware or too young to know, Cindy Williams was on a show called Laverne and Shirley, which was a spinoff of Happy Days. And um, it starred her and Penny Marshall and produced by Penny Marshall's brother, Gary Marshall. It was also very funny. Oh. Anyway. So yeah, Penny Marshall was on uh, Laverne and Shirley, most famous for that. She was also in an incredible uh, movie called The Conversation, which starred Gene Hackman, uh, Harrison Ford's in it. Uh, the Conversation is so fucking good. Um, and she's in it, Cindy. It's a great movie and she's good in it. She was also in American Graffiti. Yeah. So, what was she, 75, I think? Yeah. What else have we learned? George Santos is uh, stepping down from his committee assignments because he's too much of a distraction. Dude, just step down altogether. A mess that one, yeah. Notice he was photographed without the signature, what has become his signature look, which is the sweater over the shirt and tie, and then a jacket over that. But we're without, he was without, he didn't have his glasses on, um, didn't have the sweater on, and no tie, which just you know says things are getting a little hot under his collar. That's what that says to me. I really should get a bowl. I mean, I do this like brush mixing. It's a little primitive in my hand. Which seems to do the trick, but if you really whip this stuff up, it gets into such a great softening lather. That's the thing about this with shaving. <clears throat> like guys, this is, this is our time, you know? Guys who like to say, I don't have time to, you know, you want your shave to be quick. I get it, we're all busy, right? But this is our time, this is our thing, you know? God, this feels good. Okay, all right. Rinse that out. Nice thing about this synthetic bristle brush from uh, C.O. Bigelow. This is a synth this is a made with synth synthetic silver tip fibers. It's really soft and nice, but it being synthetic, it rinses so clean as opposed to like animal hair, which is porous and it, it's harder to rinse. But the synthetic one, bad. Okay. Uh. I can't read comments too well, guys, because I don't have... I know you like Parasso. Oh, good. Yeah, I do. It's, I'm, it's on my face right now. Parasso does one with uh, C.O. Bigelow. Parasso really makes nice shaving cream.
What else was I reading this morning? There's a story in New York Magazine about uh, the laundress. You know that sort of designer laundry product company? And got in some trouble because there was a bacteria in the product that was causing rashes, could have caused sepsis for some people. I mean, it was like, it was no minor, it was minor, I think, in most cases, but, you know, could have gotten, could have gotten very serious, even death. Anyway, there's a story in New York Magazine about it. <clears throat> One woman they um, covered in the story said, you know, within days after stop, she stopped using the product line, uh, her skin cleared up. She had rashes and stuff like that. That'd be terrifying. Like if you got these rashes, you don't know where the fuck they're coming from. And you know, later find out it's from the, you know, laundry detergent or whatever product you've been using. Oh, anyway, I used to use, uh, the laundress had this great product, two products of theirs that I used. Uh, the wash and stain bar, which was a great, it was like a bar of soap, but it was lavender scented. It was great for getting like stains out of your shirt collars and cuffs. And also it was a great thing to pack when you travel. It was great smelling. It was really clean and crisp smelling. And if you needed to wash something in your hotel sink, you know, and then just hang it dry, great in a pinch like that, which I'd done a couple of times. Uh... If you needed another shirt for another day or something like that, that wash and stain bar was so good. And then they also had um, this no static cling spray, non aerosol. Like Niagara is great, but it's aerosol. We try to reduce that. Um, the laundress had this great, like, no static spray that really helped with static cling. And then, you know, can't get that anymore. It's a bummer. Shit happens, man. I would never. Oh, God, getting into the product game? Yikes. It's a cautionary tale. What else is happening? Um, I'm editing my uh, podcast with Dave Hill today. Dave Hill was a guest on my show. Came over and we chatted last week, and I'm going to edit that, and I'm going to crank that out tomorrow. Oh, guys, I just love... I'm actually going a little too fast. I mean, in my dream... Uh, I'll go a little bit slower. And I apologize for not looking at comments because I can't really... read them without my glasses on. Do I have glasses in here? I don't. Sorry. Because I'm old and blind. Ooh, shit. Oh, Nick myself. Sorry. Right on the lip of my nose. <laughs> shit happens, man. That's all right. That's okay. That's what happens when you're hasty. But I love a shave. There's nothing like a fresh, clean shave. Nothing. So that Nick should be fine by the time I'm done showering. Uh, I got a new microwave too, mine conked out. I just moved into this apartment and the microwave died two weeks later. Anyway, they just installed my new one this morning and it's lovely. This one's not a convection microwave, which I don't need because I have a real oven now. I'm not that big of a cook, so I don't really need two ovens going. 
or a baker. Um, however, yeah, it's a basic microwave. All I need. And uh, yeah, I used it this morning to uh, heat up a cup of coffee. Nothing like a shave. Okay. Ready for the day. Oh, it feels so good. Clean shaven. I'm not a beard person. Speaking of beards. Holy fuck. Did you guys see The Last of Us on Sunday on HBO Max? That sort of apocalypse show. Oh my God. Oh my God. Murray Bartlett and Nick Offerman just slayed me. Oh my God. I mean, all around, actually. I mean, their performances were incredible. The portrayal, the story was great. The writing was so good. Their dialogue, their situations, their... All the scenes, like all of it. All the stars were aligned to make one of the most exquisite episodes of television I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God, I mean, everyone's talking about it. It's all over social media. And if you're not watching The Last of Us on HBO Max, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's like a little, it's like, there's a little bit of Walking Dead kind of thing going on there, but. Um, ah, this is something else. And um, yeah, Murray Bartlett and Nick Offerman just, it's them, in addition to, that's my favorite love story on television this year so far. Last year, it was uh, um, Christopher Walken and uh, John Turturro in Severance. Just great TV. Just really nice. It's so good to see such nice work. And they, everybody, as I said, the writing, like, I believed it. That dialogue was great. Those characters... They were so different, each, you know, I can't, I could go on, but I'm not going to because I got to get in the shower. But anyway, watch that show if you haven't started it already. Um, and uh, yeah, <sighs> amazing TV. And Cindy Williams, <laughs> go watch The Conversation. That's a great movie. Great, great movie. Um, 1974, I believe, or three. The conversation. Really good. Gene Hackman, as always, is fantastic. And Cindy Williams is wonderful. She's such a, she's a baby in it. Um, and Santos. Is the end near? We shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a shave. Guys, shaving's fabulous. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Love you, bye.